you might not get to preach there but you can be somebody that we put in a position that it takes only that kind of altar that you have raised to answer to that kind of problem God will be asking we have a mantle to release but can we find a young man that has been consistent on his prayer altar for the past three years non-stop can you do it many times should I tell you if God gives you quickly the object of your prayers you will stop seeking him so he delays it he understands how humans think are you hearing what I'm saying so many times he puts us around circumstances that will make us cry out and ask questions that will drive us to the place where God will pay us a visit of a lifetime. Kayanos, 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 fresh tongues, Kayanos, fresh tongues. A new depth, a new fountain, a new depth, a new fountain, Kayanos! frustration as a result of what they saw happening to their family their father their mother and their siblings some of them even joined yahoo even some of them that know they had a call a, a young man chatted me one time he told me that to tell me the truth that he loves god and that he used to follow me and listen but as he's talking to me now that things have become so bad that he needs to do Yahoo small so that you'll be able to rescue his family. I asked him, how old are you? He said 21. I said, why is a 21-year-old boy so bothered so bothered with the affairs of the family? If a 21-year-old boy is struggling to deliver the family from the afflictions and the things to, to feed the family, that means something is wrong. Because at 21, your father should still be taking care of you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you with me? If you are with me, say amen. amen. Your father should still be in charge of many things. And the young man said he needs to take care of his father. He needs to take care of his mother. He needs to take care of his siblings. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I said, I don't understand. You are too young to be bothered about this. How old are you, my brother? 16. How old are you? 20. You are that kind of guy, but you are not the one. Who. But that's kind of age. What's your business? In the olden days, if you are a 20-year-old boy, you are not even, you are a boy. You are, not, you are not permitted to do things. If they are discussing serious matters, they will not include you. And there might be a time when we will come after those young men for engaging scenario that is captured in the book of Judges chapter 6. Are you getting the point? Because when you read it like that, it looks far away. It looks the children of Israel. No, you are the one. If you check the circumstances around your life, around your family, around your extended family, around your campus, around your territory, around Nigeria, and you are not having a burden, then something has died inside of you. We are just coming for the program. When we came to one junction there, we saw NMPC finish station. How many of you have seen that NMPC? The, the number of cars there and bike, it looks as if they were doing a political campaign. The number of vehicles that a siege is there and men are trying their best, yet they are not breaking out of it. You will arise in the name of Jesus Christ. I say you will arise in the name of Jesus. I was like this many years ago. I was in my SS1 in secondary school. There is a school back there that they called Dennis Memorial Grammar School. I was in SS1 and it happened to be a boarding school. Many of you went to boarding school. I know there is not much boarding school this day, but any of you went to a boarding school? Very good. So, the good thing about those boarding schools, I don't know about your own, is that 
there is movement after people has gone there can be movement up to 10 p.m. in the night then there will be lights out but even though there is lights out some seniors can still be moving around but didn't you move around when you were a senior okay good so some seniors can move around and they can send younger people on errands so one of those days one senior sent me to go and buy because one of the best combinations those days we were in secondary school is bread and moi moi. I know you have not tested it. After now, you can try it. <laughs> so you open the bread, not sliced bread, you know. Open it, put the moi moi inside. Then there is a drink. It's no, it's no more popular now. Do you know the drink called Miranda? Is it still here? Wow. Ghost spot. All those kind of drinks. So I, I bought it for I bought it for the guy I was going back. As I was going back, I was passing through where we call the SS1 block. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm trying to explain what was happening to this guy. I was passing through a place that is called SS1 block. Suddenly, I saw a man on white like this guy now. You see that guy? The one on camera. I saw a man like that. But he's taller than this guy. When I turned to see, I found that it was not only one person. It was two. And I have never seen that kind of person before in my life. As soon as I saw those men, I don't know how I became afraid. That was the beginning when God began to woo me with a cry for a mantle. He has seen a season to come. You don't know God. God sees far ahead. God can woo you now and you look around and you, you are asking, what I'm doing is not having really any impact. Why should I do what I'm doing? He has seen the next five years. He has seen the next ten years. Maybe everything is okay with your family. Tomorrow, somebody can be sick. Your priesthood and prayer can stop that possibility. God didn't need to. It will not even come. Talk more of it than going. Are you getting what I'm saying? But will you hear God now? Guess my response to those guys. By fear, I ran away. One day I was reading in the class. They paid me another visit. How I wish I responded to them well. I was 14 years old. The next time they came was five years later. It was in that five years later that they told me if I don't accept this calling, that means I have lived enough on earth. So it's either I accept this calling now. It will mean that the training that it takes for me to enter into my calling needs a minimum amount of years to be accomplished. So they calculated what will probably happen and incorporate you in the levels of training so that in the next five years you will be fitting to be the vessel that will bear deliverance to people. Are you getting it? Within that time frame, a lot of things can be happening. Some of them, you might not have the kind of result that you expect. Nonetheless, the call is consistent. Huh? As long as there is grace, God is still cooking something. Even if there is no manifestation yet. Have you ever prayed for something, kept praying, and you felt like the grace to pray was there or fast or study? But after studying, nothing really much happened. Hello? In fact, some of the situations you prayed for did not change. The response that God gave many times, should I tell you, if God gives you quickly the object of your prayers, you will stop seeking him. So he delays it. He understands how humans think. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So many times he puts us around circumstances that will make us cry out and ask questions that will drive us to the place where God will pay us a visit of a lifetime. See now. Because of what he wants to do in the next five years, 
in the next 10 years in the land dead, there is a season I saw a group of young men in the spirit I saw them last year Jesus Christ and the Lord told me that in the next 10 years these young men will rise up you know what I did I began to search I began to search for young men that are 25 and under so if you are more than 25 God can use it but that's what I'm searching for are you up to 25 hey let me hear. are you up to 25 huh 24 just escaped so you are the people I'm looking for so that if God can put his hands on you between the next 5 to 10 years it will not know people will not know now that's how it is you might not get to preach there but you can be somebody that we put in a position that it takes only that kind of altar that you have raised to answer to that kind of problem God will be asking we have a mantle to release but can we find a young man that has been consistent on his prayer altar for the past three years non-stop can you do it huh <laughs> it's easier said than done if it's easier everybody will do it everybody will do it everybody when God told me to fast for one year when I fasted to some point I now found that to fast is hard though. do you know to fast is how many of you know that fasting is hard how many of you that know that human beings naturally like food? Whether you accept it or not, even if you don't want to eat, your body wants to eat. If you refuse, it will make you weak. And it, so he naturally likes food. And God said, reduce food, six to three, six to six. Do it for me for 200 days. Can you do it? That's the kind of that's the kind of people I'm here to look for. It's not the people that they will tell to fast 6 to 12. They will say that, ah, I'm hungry. Why won't you be hungry? They told somebody to fast and he's getting to 10, 11. He called the pastor and said, pastor, I'm hungry. That's the reason why you are told to fast. Even if God did not answer your prayer, that's too much appetite for food. If that is the only thing God killed, I think he succeeded. It's after me, Lord. Find, Lord. Lord. find me in my youth. In fact, it's after me, Lord. Lord. Find me in my early youth. Please find me early, oh God. That I might rejoice and be glad before thee. When will you satisfy me? What is the purpose? Let's say you are a man of God. What is the purpose of miracle working power when you are 85 years old? What's the purpose? One day I saw a video. I saw a video of Kenny Hagin. I know he started serving God earlier and other, but I'm just trying to make an emphasis. I saw when he was in his 80s, bam, glory of God came down. But the man could no more walk. 